Hi, Ken Olson, president of W. Britt Model Figures, and we're here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania for our 2022 Model Figure Symposium right out front of Lee's headquarters, first day of Gettysburg Battle. Thanks, Ken. As with all our symposiums, and in this video, we'll build some exciting models. We'll visit some museums and the historic Gettysburg Battlefield. Enjoy good food and friends. Hear some educated speakers and just have fun. Thanks for joining us. Located in South Central Pennsylvania, Gettysburg has always been a crossroads town but it gained real prominence July 1st, 1863 with the Battle of Gettysburg. And since that time, it's been visited by countless tourists, dignitaries, historians, and folks just like you. The park itself is over 6,000 acres, studded with statuary, canyon, and monuments. The park boasts of 43,000 American Civil War artifacts on display in its museum and visitor center. It's an amazing place, and we strongly encourage you to visit. We start our visit at the Wyndham Gettysburg. The Wyndham hosted several other conventions that weekend. But you know you're in the right place when you see a cannon in the lobby. Day one always begins with a workshop, and this time it's a diorama of the Emmitsburg Road. All workshoppers were supplied with a box full of everything they need to recreate this dramatic scene, including a free figure that's not offered to the general public and is a true collector's item. We had way more participants than usual, but under Ken and Erica's tutelage and guidance, everyone had a great time. Attendees learned tips and tricks that they will hopefully apply in future projects on their own. The workshop itself lasted the entire day, but time just flew by. And in the end, everyone was able to complete their project. That evening, everyone was completely on their own for dinner plans. And with so much that Gettysburg has to offer, the choice was up to you. Later that evening, there were two open houses. One at the Gettysburg Miniature Soldier Shop, a <laughs> toy soldier store. And the other at For the Historian, a bookshop that also sells toy soldiers. Day 2, our lecture day, featured knowledgeable speakers on many diverse topics, including the U.S. Marine, 1775 to 1898, what Billy Yank wore, a look at Union uniforms during the American Civil War, life and times of George Armstrong Custer and winter encampments during the American Civil War. And now's a good time for you to start planning for next year's 130th Anniversary Symposium in Historic Chillicothe, Ohio. Hope to see you there. And now back to the show. Later that evening, the W. Britton Banquet. Attendees received a swag bag, as well as a ticket for our famous prize drawing. Guests also had the opportunity to purchase yet-to-be-released product from the W. Britton line. And view some of these handsome pedestal displays by W. Britton President and Creative Director Ken knows me. The sumptuous banquet was served buffet style, soon to be followed by our fabulous prize lottery.
Everybody got something, including a smile. Our final morning was a visit to the Seminary Ridge Museum. We met at 9.30 with Director of Museum Operations and our tour guide, Cody Esch. After a brief orientation, guests were invited to stroll the museum before the actual cupola tour. The Lutheran Seminary saw extensive action during the battle and was pressed into service as a hospital serving wounded from both sides. At their appointed time, attendees were invited to ascend the staircase and take the tour. Our guide, Cody Esch, described the topography and history of the grounds before you. We stood where Buford stood and got an amazing appreciation and an excellent view of the first day of battle. Ken Osen here, wrapping things up on August 7th in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania with our 2022 symposium. Great time, great location, talking out like Gettysburg, Pennsylvania.